Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll walk you through the way you can now connect to SharePoint from the PNP PowerShell module. This has changed quite dramatically after September of 2024. So the old way of just doing connect PNP online and then just supplying username and password, that does no, no longer work. You have, still have to supply a URL, of course, but you do need to work with an Entra ID here. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. So I'm just going to copy the URL there. Let's get over here. There we go. That's the URL to my site, the one I want to connect to. So we're going to be working with a client ID. And the client ID is the name or the ID, of course, of an application that is registered in Entra. Perhaps the easiest way of doing this is register the PNP Entra app for interactive login. So that takes a few parameters, of course. It takes the application name. And I'm just going to call it KPNP Interactive. And then it's going to take the tenant. And the tenant is this part of the URL right there. And then it's on Microsoft.com in most cases. And of course, I want to make it interactive. That's the way that I want to register that. So when I run this command now, just run that selection line there. That's going to pop up the login screen here. And I'm just going to log into that account, an admin account, of course, a SharePoint admin account. And now it's creating that uh, there. And here's the client ID. So that's the client ID we're going to be working with now. So I'm just going to copy that part up there. It's still working down here, but that's okay. Client ID. And then I'm just going to do interactive here. So this is the new syntax now. You need the URL, of course, as before. You need client ID and you need interactive. And then you're going to get a login screen each time you connect. So here's a login again. So let's do that. The login is saved in my browser now. So here's the, the interactive application being created in Entra. So I accept that. There we go. Now I'm connected and there's the client ID. So let's take a look here in the app registrations all applications. There it is. That's the one I just created. So that's what's happening in the background. So let's try it now and see if it actually works. So now I'm connecting, I'm supplying the client ID and I'm doing an interactive login. So let's do that. There I get the login screen. The password is saved in my browser. So now I'm logged in and I can just do a get PNP list, right? So just run that. And there you see, there's my list. So everything's connected, everything's working. Thank you for watching this demonstration.